Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Nicholas Lambrew from Thinkstra. Nicholas joins us today to discuss Thinkstra's role in the IoT market and a variety of new developments the company currently has underway. Thanks for coming along, Nicholas, and welcome to the jam. Thanks for having me, Mitchell. So for a business that hasn't worked with Thinkstra before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, so Thinkstra enables massive IoT, which is the internet of things, but at a very, very large scale. So think of tens of thousands of, of sensors, hundreds of thousands, potentially even millions of sensors that are capturing and sending data aimed at creating more sustainable and efficient business processes, which is at the heart of our business. And so at Thinkstra, we have built, uh, you know, from the ground up, the only national and public zero G network in Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, and Macau. And we provide a very low cost data connectivity service for asset data that's being captured by these sensors in a massive IoT solution. Additionally, we also uh, provide devices and, and data platforms uh, and, and also professional services, whether they are advisory or consulting services, to help complete end-to-end -end solutions for businesses and helping them connect the physical assets with a, digital, with a digital world and in the most energy efficient way. And what this does is it helps organizations track their physical assets, which in turn make their operations more efficient. Um, but there are lots of other applications, for example, uh, helping organizations provide a, a, help, a healthy uh, a working environment by uh, allowing them to monitor and report on indoor air quality. And we do this at a fraction of the conventional cost and we do it at scale. So, so one, you know, what we're seeing is IoT kind of expand in two ways. And so most companies are familiar with, um, you know, setting their solutions that are being powered by, you know, 3G or 5G. And now what we're seeing is 5G really kind of enabling use cases that are, you know, that demand high bandwidth, uh, consistent high power supply, but also low latency. So think of streaming video on your smartphone. For Thinkstra, we kind of play at the other end of the spectrum. So with zero G kind of fostering massive IoT by sending small bits of data only two or three times per day and in the most energy efficient way. So think of tracking a piece of machinery or an asset in a really large international airport. Think about the benefits of being able to locate that asset or that machinery and being able to put it into use quicker. So no matter what the industry, you know, organizations can't really rely on guesswork to understand, you know, their operations or achieve their objectives. And it's hard for them to make the right decisions if they're in the dark and they don't know where their assets are or if their assets are performing in the way in which they were intended. So technology and data are pretty crucial and it's creating, you know, through these solutions, you know, unprecedented visibility to help them evolve their business models and also their customer services. So for us, it's really about, you know, creating value for our partners, customers through powering these high efficiency uh, and reducing loss and improving, you know, utilization and enabling new business models. And we do that alongside our local uh, network and also our global partner ecosystem. Well, fantastic. And just to expand on that a little bit, can you share some examples of how organizations are using the Thinkstra platform? Yeah, sure. So we've established some relationships with, you know, some of the region's largest supply chain and logistics companies, uh, manufacturers, uh, facility and property operators and education departments. And we're experiencing increasing demand right across the board. So organisations of all, all sizes, including government agencies, are really looking at ways to leverage our Internet, uh, uh, Internet of Things solutions to to make their assets work smarter without the need to invest in building their own network or, you know, kind of managing the ongoing maintenance of that network. And a good example that calls to mind is, is Couriers Please, you know, a very iconic brand here in Australia uh, who are using an IoT solution that was uh, created in conjunction with uh, Optus and it's powered via the Thinkstra Zero G network to help them scale them amid the growth that they're experiencing. And so in that instance, they have connected, um, you know, IoT sensors to over three and a half thousand uh, transport cages. And this not only tracks 
uh, those cages to reduce the number that are lost or, or could be stolen, but it also helps them optimize their operations and maximize asset utilization. Um, another example would be, you know, with a non-for-profit organization uh, that you may be familiar with in Auckland in New Zealand called Court. They're a community uh, housing provider, uh, and they're using CO2 monitoring sensors and our zero-G network to really create healthier and safer communities. And in terms of the trends your product development teams are focused on now, uh, what kind of trends are they? Yeah, so look, IDC announced earlier this year that IoT spend uh, in the Asia-Pacific region is forecast to hit $437 billion by 2025. And this is being driven by demand, for example, of you know, supermarkets needing to track food bins or utility providers to optimise energy use. And as I mentioned, you know, office buildings, you know, monitoring air quality amongst many other scenarios. So the trends that, that we are focused on, you know, include things like um, asset tracking and utilization. And as I mentioned, you know, although uh, GPS based tracking solutions have, you know, been available for decades, you know, IoT, you know, is making it possible to track, you know, those non-powered assets, um, you know, using devices in a very affordable manner and at scale. Uh, so with IoT, you know, companies can, can can gain that complete visibility, you know, over their assets, no matter where they are. And this is helping them avoid unnecessary losses and, and improve their customer service levels. Um, similarly, and, and as I mentioned, you know, indoor air quality to improve COVID-19 resilience. Um, in many respects, uh, the pandemic has kind of pulled indoor air quality into the limelight with facility managers now proactively reaching out and looking for ways uh, to maintain safe indoor air, you know, CO2 levels for workers, for visitors, for students as well. And that includes, you know, offices, uh, schools, uh, and all of the public venues that we're now starting to enjoy once more. So in essence, um, the CO2 levels are, are the best in indicator for uh, many, you know, airborne diseases such as, uh, you know, COVID transmission. Uh, and this is essential uh, information that's been used to implement effective you know remedies whether that is you know to improve the ventilation or to turn on air purifiers so uh, what infrastructure and resources do you guys have on the Australia and New Zealand market yeah so as I had mentioned earlier we've deployed we own and we operate the only public and national zero G network in Australia New Zealand Hong Kong and Macau and it's a low powered uh, wide area network that today transmits more than two billion messages per month you know, creating real measurable and proven business value. Uh, we reach um, over 85% of the population in terms of coverage in each of the countries that we operate in. But in addition to that, we also have a professional services team that consists of decades of experience when it comes to making the business case for IoT work, um, you know, and that includes design and also deploying solutions at scale and helping organisations go from IoT concept to IoT reality. And um, it, just to finish off, if an enterprise or end user wanted to engage with um, Thinkstra, what would be the best way? Yeah, so the best way to reach me is uh, via LinkedIn, or you can contact our team via our website, thinkstra.com, and there you'll find you know, dedicated um, uh, or detailed breakdowns of, of solutions as well as case studies of organisations you know, really using IoT at scale. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Nicholas, and we look forward to hearing more from Thinkstra in the future. Thank you, Mitchell.